the components of sprinkler irrigation system consist of the water source that is your surface water or well a ground water the pump and power unit the pump it may be consist of your centrifugal pump or submersible pump and power unit may be electrical energy or solar energy or any diesel or petrol engine you can operate the pump so control head it consists of your relief wall regulators bypass arrangements check walls non return walls pressure gauges and vacuum gauges and other accessories the filtration system so this it will filter the water from your debris such as your gravel media filter screen filter hydrocyclone filter or centrifugal filter and disk filter fertigation system it consists of your application of your fertilizer system through the your sprinkler irrigation system having your venturi meter soluble tank next one is water distribution system that consists of your main line sub main and laterals with your sprinkler risers pumping unit is used to lift the water from source and convey it to the field through various essential components bypass mechanism is used to adjust the flow and pressure of the system water is filtered through hydrocyclone filter or sand separator to remove the sand particles sand filter traps the vegetative matter and algae fertilizer tank is used to inject the fertilizer into the irrigation line screen filter removes the fine particles like silt and clay particles air release valve removes the air vacuum from the pipeline by the network of main line sub main line and laterals water is distributed uniformly over the field the laterals are spaced as per the crop geometry and water is distributed uniformly so here water source as i told you that may be surface water or ground water pumping unit so normally this pump will helps to create the pressure and distributing the water from your source to field the booster pump it is used to where the adequate pressure is required where which we have connected the centrifugal pump or submersible pump in some cases it will not provide the pressure head system like your filters main sub main and later in this condition we will create additional motor or additional pump so here see this is type of additional motors we create like call you call booster pump so this will create pressure to the sprinkler system so that sufficient water will come from your sprinkler next distributing system it consists of your main line sub main and laterals the main line conveys the water to sub main and from sub main to laterals from this lateral to nozzle sprinklers fertilizer application so wherever soluble fertilizer like your npk okay nitrogen phosphorus and potash and other micro micro nutrients like zinc manganese or any other soluble fertilizer we can apply from this sprinkler system okay have uh, by using your venturi meter and fertilizer tank next one sprinklers and sprinkler head as i told you there are two types of sprinklers are uh, there one is a rotating and your perforated okay so here the rotating type sprinklers are used for the large areas with the pressure is head 10 to 70 meter at a sprinkler and applicable pressure range 16 to 40 meter head mostly preferred in all practical uses and fixed head sprinklers are suitable for the irrigated small lawns where we are using for garden lawn in this condition the fixed head sprinklers are used under the less pressure next one is the riser so riser the sprinkler head is attached to the lateral with riser so this is called your riser we have the lateral pipe and from the lateral pipe we will attach this riser with your sprinkler nozzle so this is the nozzle this is called your riser which will located above the crop sir height the height is adjusted according to the crop irrigation and crop type next pressure regulator or pressure relief valve okay this is the valve we will use to control the pressure because the valve is used to regulate the pressure fluctuation in your system where the high friction is there high elevation is there in this condition such type of pressure regulator will use flow control valve so this will control the passage of the water or movement of the water from your source to main sub main okay. or individual pipe network system in uneven areas uh, uneven undulating areas so non return valve is called nvr or back flow preventer valve this will reduce or prevent the back water when the pump system will shut off so in this condition the valve will will helps to control the flow will come to this back to the system and also helps to not entering the fertilizer to the 
water source next vacuum release valve this is used to introduce the air to the pipe whenever the vacuum is created means in the pump suddenly off or so in this condition the vacuum is created in this uh, pump line system means your main sub main or any pumping heading system so in this condition this vacuum release valve helps to create or pump the air so that balance the or remove the vacuum which created in the pump system next one air release or relief valve so the valve is installed at the higher elevation points must be used to remove the unwanted air bubbles or unwanted air in the system which systems help to increase the pressure of system above the atmospheric pressure so behind the working pressure next one take off valve so this is your take off valve it is used to control the pressure in the lateral line this is mostly used to control the pressure in the lateral side next one pressure gauge which helps to measure the atmospheric pressure okay what is the pressure in the system operating pressure of your system and vacuum gauge it will measure the negative pressure negative pressure is created in the system so which were the lower than the or below the atmospheric pressure next water meter it helps to total flow of water from your source to surface sprinkler system so that is will helps to measure the volume of water delivered to the pipe to the installed system debris screen so this is your debris screen so this will helps to remove the unwanted material unwanted sand particle dust particle anything when we are using surface water so that it will helps to avoid the clogging of your nozzles so that is the major use of your debris screen